Hey everyone, this is Jenny. I am coming to you today with my melt review video. And first I'm gonna start by just showing you what's on my nails. This is like the trend now. I think everyone shows what's on their nails or what's on their lips if they're doing um, videos showing their face. But I literally just painted my nails. They are short right now because I broke my pinky nail on this hand so it's like super super short and I went through and cut all my nails because I can't stand having one nail particularly like a lot shorter than the others but anyhow so this is what's on my nails this is salon perfect I got it at Walmart and it is called he's with me and I think I did show this to you before in the bottle and I paid just under four dollars for this so I'm really impressed with this particular brand from Walmart. It goes on really well, dries rather quickly, um, and has really good coverage. This is actually with just one coat of polish, so I'm really impressed with it. Um, I really like the color, and it has a great coverage um, for such a cheap brand of polish. So anyhow, so let me jump into my wax melts. I'm going to show you mostly empties, but there may be a few things that aren't empties that I'm going to show you. The first I'm going to start with here is Citrus Strawberry. This is from Candles from the Keeping Room. This is a rather old um, bag of wax from November 2014, back in the day when she used to do 8-ounce bags. So I melted two tarts. This is actually going in my living room now, although it's starting to die out a little bit. I put it in this morning. And I mostly get the citrus. It's kind of like a slightly sweetened citrus um, scent. I don't pick up the strawberry specifically. I do wish I could smell the strawberry more, but I think the strawberries just kind of help cutting through that citrus and making it like a nice sweet scent. But I do really like it. It's performed well. It's been melting for several hours in both a um, 20 watt and 24 watt hot plates. Or maybe they're both 24 watt. One of the hot plates is from Big Lots, so I'm not sure what their watt, I don't remember what the wattage is, it might be 24. Then the other one is that 24 watt from Mainstays. Something else that I melted that is not an empty is this Bluebird Bomb Pop Martini from Vintage Chic Scents. Um, Bluebird, this is so this is a blend of her Bluebird Cafe and her Bomb Pop Martini. Her Bluebird Cafe is her fresh picked strawberry. Bomb Pop Martini is like that cherry slushy kind of ice, that like, um, I was going to say ice cream, but it's not ice, that popsicle scent. Um, I don't know why I was looking at the bottom. <laughs> I don't know. But anyhow, this is a fabulous scent. It had excellent throw. I really, really love it. You can see this is just over a year old now. It's actually the first time I melted it. I melted a couple pieces in my living room, again in my two hot plates, and it did really, really well. And I love that scent. It's just nice and fruity and great for summer. Um... I may have some other non-empties in the bottom, but I will get to those later. So a couple of things I finished off. This is from 10 Digit Creations in Wildberry Musk. I actually have this in my bedroom right now. This is a nice scent. I'm not going to be buying from 10 Digit Creations anymore. So I'm just trying to, like, when I think of it, melt through the stuff that I do have from her. I don't have a ton, but I do have some stuff that I need to get through. But I actually did like this scent, and it performed well. It was just a nice kind of berry scent, but with like that musk was kind of a little bit like perfumey floral in there. It was actually very nice. This other one is from 10 Digit Creations as well. This is Wild Peach Poppies. I love this scent. I don't distinctly notice the peach, but it is like a nice delicate kind of floral with like a sweet kind of fruity note underneath it. To me I couldn't tell specifically it was with peach when it was melting but it is really nice and it's performing well. From, I don't have a label on this, this is from, what is her name? Oh I just, I can't think of it right now. It's called, this is the scent of strawberry jam. This is a Canadian vendor that closed a while back, maybe like two years ago and then I guess has since reopened. I'm not in her group, but I did see someone post a YouTube video not too long ago of a haul from her. Um, oh, okay, I'm gonna come back to that when I think of it. But that part, when I think of her name, but that scent in particular is kind of, it's to me it's a very artificial strawberry, so I didn't care for it that much, but I was just trying to get through it. And then I finished this Blushing Pink Petals from Sensationals and this Candles by Victoria Buttercream, which this is really old. I got it from the first, um, what do you call it, 
oh my gosh, I'm like at a loss for words in this video, but the first Super Bowl sale that she had after I got into wax. So I started buying Bender Wax in fall of 2013. So this would have been from her sale she had in either January, February 2014, whenever the Super Bowl happened to be that year. And um, I have some scent shots left that actually still have some good scent in them. I'm just slowly melting through them. But I actually blended these two together. I often like to blend this Blushing Pink Petals with their um, Vanilla Cookie Crunch, but I couldn't find a clamshell in Vanilla Cookie Crunch. I know I have some. I just, I think I was lazy, couldn't find it, so I just grabbed this. And it actually did well together. This kind of added just a nice kind of sweetness to it. Um, I do prefer it with the Vanilla Cookie Crunch, but it was still good. And that, that particular blend I got from another YouTuber, I think her name is Melanie. She, she does wax, but only like store-bought wax. I finished this four-pack of, I think it was like little grubby pies and strawberry white cake from Sassy Girl Aroma. You can tell this is particularly old from December 2014, but it actually performed really well. This is your standard strawberry white cake that you can get from lots of vendors, so nothing special, but it performed well. I finished a four pack in strawberry raspberry or strawberry guava raspberry from Candles from the Keeping Room. Again, this one is pretty old as well because this is back when I was repackaging all of her wax, which I do not do anymore. But I love this scent from uh, Carol and I love it actually from other vendors as well. I find that any vendors that carry this blend, with it tends to be the same oil that I think they're getting um, and I really do love it. It's just a great fruity scent and it performed well. I melted a sample of Pomelo Sage from Candles from the Keeping Room. This was really good as well from October 2015. This was just kind of like a nice um, citrusy scent. I don't know if Pomelo is a type of a grapefruit. To me, that is a little bit sweeter than a standard grapefruit, so that's kind of how this smelled. But that sage kind of gave it just a nice, like, kind of herbal note to it, but it was good. I finished a chunk from Glitterati in Frosted Lavender Shortbread. This was really good. This is a great lavender scent. My custom order from her is shipping tomorrow, so I'm super, super excited um, to get that. I also finished a chunk of Red Hot Orange Julius Vanilla B. Noel. This is like a very, very sweet and creamy Red Hot Cinnamon scent. To me, I don't specifically smell the orange, but I do like it. I didn't like it enough to include it in my customs, but I did like the scent. From Ava's, I melted a couple of Grubby Hearts in Chocolate Orchid, and I think I've only ordered from Ava's once, so is that true from 2015? I guess so. Her stuff is really good, though, so I don't know why I haven't gone back. I think it's just there's only so many vendors I can keep up with and order, but I love the scent Chocolate Orchid. Multiple vendors do carry that scent, and I absolutely love it, and that performed well. From Candles from the Keeping Room, I finished a four-pack in Pink Sugar Parfait. This is like a pink sugar and I don't know if it's like a cake and whipped cream or something like that. I can't remember what it is, but it is more of like a bakery kind of sweet pink sugar. But I do really like it, and it's a great nighttime melt. Oh, sorry. I dropped my, I knocked my iPad down. Sorry about that. Um, from Blink Label, this is uh, Music to Watch Boys 2. It's homemade sugar clouds, honeydew melon, and juicy pineapple slices. So I know I melted it. I think I mostly got the pineapple when I was melting this one. It was a good pineapple. I'm not, I mean, this had a great throw. I cut it in half and put it in two warmers in my living room, and it performed really well. It definitely was heavier on the pineapple, which I'm not like a huge pineapple person, but this was a good pineapple scent, so I actually really enjoyed that one. And from Super Tarts, this is Gandalf, which I cannot remember what this blend is. And you can tell this is a little bit older. I mean, one, it has the date on it, but it doesn't even have the scent description on it because that brandy started adding scent descriptions, what, like a year or so ago? But this is like a creamy coffee, like creamy bakery coffee scent. I don't remember what's in it, but it's really good. It did perform well. It's nice and sweet and kind of caramely and delicious, so... That is a good scent. From Better Homes and Gardens, I finished a clamshell and sugared lavender twist. This is basically like a pink sugar lavender. Um, this, though, I do have a couple more of these, and they're starting to lose some of their scent, and they're more pink sugar now than lavender, um, so I need to kind of use those up. I find that the Better Homes and Gardens just doesn't seem to last that long. Oh, 
I still have one in there. So this is one of my non-empties, so I'm not going to do that one right now. That's a not. I do have a lot of non-empties in this. Hmm. Which I know I started talking about some, but I just, I have a lot, so I don't want to go through them all. Let's see. From Tiffany Candles, I have melted a few of the um, little Teddy Tarts that have come in the Rosemary Mint sampler, which is really good. This is Rosemary Mint and Sweet Dreams, which Sweet Dreams, is it pink sugar and sweet pea or something like that maybe? I don't, or maybe it's sweet pea and lavender vanilla. I can't remember now. Her rosemary mint sample is really good. Most of the scents smell, you smell mostly the rosemary mint. And then the other items just kind of give it like an undertone to them. Maybe make it a little sweeter, make it more relaxing, whatever. But definitely like the rosemary mint is predominant in all of these blends. But they're really good. And I have been enjoying them. Oh, I want to talk about this one, which is not an empty this is Carlisle from Super Tarts. It's Soothing Chamomile Blossoms and Sweet Huckleberries. So, you know, this is kind of one I wasn't sure about, but I absolutely love this. And like on cold, I wasn't like super excited about it, but when it melts, oh my gosh, this is such an amazing scent. To me, it is very, 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 um, oh gosh, I, why can't I think of my words today? It's very, um, spa like it's a very much a spa like scent I get more I think that chamomile those chamomile blossoms it's just they're very spa like and then the huckleberries I think adds a sweetness to it but you definitely get the chamomile blossoms more than anything but I absolutely love this one so I'm you know definitely gonna savor these last four cubes and then I would definitely repurchase this one Also from 10 Digit Creations, I melted this two pack of Triple Berry Margarita. It's actually a really good scent. Um, it's not real heavy on the margarita. It, you get more of the kind of like the sweet mixed berries and then you get a little bit of kind of like a lemon lime note in there, but I really like it. The berry note was stronger than the margarita note. From Long Cane Primitives, I finished a six pack, I think this was, in little tarts of lavender sugar. This is a great scent. I thought this was going to be a sweeter lavender. Um, to me, no, it was a pretty herbal lavender, but I did really enjoy it. And then actually, I think she closed her business for a while. I don't remember the owner's name. Well, she closed her business, and I guess she's recently announced that she's selling it to a friend who will be opening it back up, I guess. I don't know if you're in the group. You can probably see more details about that, but um, I do have some long cane primitive stuff left. From Tiffany Candles, I finished a three-pack of fluted tarts in Satsuma and Strawberry. This was really good to me. I got more of the Satsuma than the Strawberry, but I did really enjoy it. And Satsuma is a great scent, so I like that. Performed well. From Glitterati, I melted this plum I'm sorry, Blueberry Plum de Delicious Vanilla Bean Noel. This was a really, really good fruity scent. Um, I really did enjoy it. I didn't, it's hard to smell, like Glitterati is one that once the wax is out of the bag, I usually don't smell much in the bag after, unless it's like a bakery bag. But this one, I don't even remember smelling the blueberry. I think I feel like I got more of the plum delicious, but it was really good and I really did enjoy it. That is not an empty. Also from Tiffany Candles, I melted this Caribbean Escape, which I just bought not too long ago. Um, it's really good, very nice, just tropical scent. Smells like the Bath and Body Works one. It wasn't like super strong. Um, I usually don't go for her scent shots, but I did that time just because I wanted that scent. But I enjoyed it. I also finished or melted this little um, guy from Rosemary, from Rosemary Mint, from Tiffany's in Rosemary Mint and Tiki Beach. I love Tiki Beach. I'm sure if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that. Um, so again, I smelled more of the rosemary mint, but then you kind of get a little bit of the back note of the Tiki Beach. So I really did enjoy that. From Candles from the Keeping Room, I melted the sample in Baja Cactus Blossom. I actually do have the candle from Bath and Body Works. I don't know that this smells just like the Bath and Body Works version. I feel like the Bath and Body Works one is more fruity. This one had just like an underlying note to it. I really did like it, but it was different. It kind of like this like warm musky or something type of scent. I can't even explain it. I did actually really like it, but to me it does not smell like the candle. 
from Super Tarts, I melted this buttercream mint ice cream. This was a great scent. I melted this at night, I think three different times in my 24 watt hot plate warmer. And it's just such a creamy, smooth, minty scent. I absolutely love it. And this is definitely one I would repurchase as well when I decide to make another order from her at some point down the road. This is Prancer from Super Tarts. Again, this is another old one. You can tell this clamshell just about had it. Um, I like the scent from her, uh, although I feel like after it's melted for a while, her Christmas tree note, I don't, it's a Christmas tree and tinsel, I think, or something like that. The Christmas tree note gets a little bit medicinal to me after it's melted for a while, so I do enjoy it, but I can't leave it on for very long. After a few hours, I usually get rid of it. From the bathing garden, I finished this clamshell in pink sand, which I want to say is like suntan lotion and pink sugar, maybe. So you get a little bit of, you definitely get that suntan lotion, which to me, suntan lotion in wax form tends to be somewhat chemically. But with the pink sugar, I actually do really like it. It kind of gave it more of like a fresh scent. Um, I'm not sure if I'll like, I enjoyed it. I'm not sure if I'll like pick that one up again, maybe someday down the road. We'll see how I feel. Here's another one from the Rosemary Mint Sampler from Tiffany. This was blended with pink peppermint. Um, this one actually, like, you really did pick up the pink peppermint along with the Rosemary Mint. I really did like that. I love her pink peppermint. I think you guys know that. This was a sample from the Bathing Garden and Midsummer Song. I don't even have a data because this was from my last order. But now I'm trying to remember what the scent was. I think it's kind of like a, a fruity floral. And I do believe I ordered a clamshell of this when she... Um, listed her new scents um, just recently. From Vintage Chic Scents, I finished, I think this was a flower in Tiki Volcano Bowl. Uh, you can see this is from June of 2015, so almost two years old. This is like a tropical fruity scent, but I do not remember what's in it. I want to say there's some pineapple in there, but I did enjoy it, but it was kind of just a nice blend of like some tropical fruits. From Blank Label, I finished this, I think it was like a four-pack for Someday My Prince Will Come, which is pink sugar uh, with sweet vanilla, gentle lavender, and a touch of birthday cake. This is a good scent. For it being pink sugar and lavender, though, it's not, it wasn't real strong, but I know with my Blank Label, with these, like, chunks that are, like, kind of like little bunt shapes and stuff, I do not cut them. Um unless I'm putting them into a smaller warmer, but like this particular scent that I put in my room, I melt at night, I don't cut it up, and I may try doing that to see if I get better performance by cutting them. This is Glitterati from one of the mystery boxes I got recently, um, Satsuma Buma. I do not, or no, maybe this was from a mystery box my mom got, but she didn't like this scent. I don't remember. I think it was actually, yeah, from one of my mom's mystery boxes. I don't know what's the Buma part. It just seems like a satsuma that's more hyped up on the citrus note, but it's really good. I did really enjoy it. From Blank Label, I finished this uh, four pack in Mermaid Lagoon under a magic moon. This is soft watery florals with sea salt, ocean mist, sea moss, and geranium flower. So this performed really well. I did not cut the chunks up, but I would melt a whole like piece of it in my 20 watt glade in my bathroom because this is definitely a scent that for me is a bathroom scent because it's like fresh and clean and I generally don't melt those very often in like my main living area and I don't put them in my bedroom but um I performed really well there's a note in this one of the notes and I don't know which one it is what reminded me of Tiffany Candle's Rosemary Mint. Now, I'm not saying it was the same as her Rosemary Mint, but it had something in it just really reminded me a lot. It was almost like her Rosemary Mint, but with like oceany fresh scents mixed in. But I really did enjoy this one. It was a really good scent. It was very strong, so it performed very well. Here's another Rosemary Mint with um, Bora Bora. And so Bora Bora is like a tropical fruity scent note. Um, I think most vendors carry that scent at some point. It was good. But again, that's more of, I got more of just the rosemary mint. Okay, one of my things in here is like melting oil. Ooh, it's that one. I'm going to have to repackage that. Um, <laughs> this label got full of oil from another chunk from another vendor that seems to be seeping oil. This is pumpkin zucchini bread and from 10 Digit Creations and this was a good like pumpkin zucchini. There was a couple weeks here or a while actually here in Southern California 
that the weather um, has just been really cold. We've had some rain and stuff, and here we are, you know, already in June. Well, this colder weather was like in May. But we had a lot of cold weather and a lot of rain in May, so I was melting a lot of bakery, kind of more fallish scents. But this was good. This was like a nice kind of spicy bakery pumpkin. I liked it, and it performed well. All right, I'm almost done. I'm not going to do the other non-empties. Uh, this was a bag of fresh strawberry and cotton candy bliss from Sniff My Tarts from one of my like very early orders from them. And this is one of the few that still performed well for me, but this was the last piece that I have of it. This was just basically like a really, really, really sweet, decadent strawberry scent. I did really enjoy it. And I'm out of it. I did not order in their last opening. I thought about it, but... The timing didn't work well for my schedule, and I wasn't going to stress about it, so I just did not order. From Candles from the Keeping Room, this is a sample in Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie Filled Pumpkin Bars. I really like this. It was basically like your Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie, but kind of with a, another like spicy kind of bakery note from those pumpkin bars, so it was good. I liked it. Um, I finished a bag from Vintage Chic Scents and Will Always Have Paris. This is an exclusive blend, but it's fruity. I want to say it has pomegranate in it, but I think it has other stuff as well. I re did really like this, as you can see. This is like two and a half years old, and I've just been slowly melting it over the years, but I do really like that scent. That's something I would buy from her again. From Tiffany Candles, I finished a three-pack in Cineberry. Um, I don't even have this one dated. It's probably pretty old. Um, definitely more of kind of like a cinnamony, like fall berry type scent. It was good. I don't know if I'd get it again. This is Destination Wax Meyer Lemon Salsa. Now this one I don't remember melting. So I don't remember what it smelled like. I probably put it in my bathroom, but I don't remember. That's too bad. Let's see, what else do I have in here? Okay. From Tiffany Candle Sweet Dreams. So this is the one I think I said it's, is it pink sugar and sweet pea? Let me see if I can smell it. I'm pretty sure it has sweet pea in it. It smells bakery. I think it smells bakery because it's something else. Um, I think that's what this blend is that I finished. And I'm not a huge fan of sweet pea, so I don't know that I will get that again. Rosemary Mint and Strawberry. I love, 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 love this one. This is the one that I think I could pick up this, like, of all the Rosemary Mint blends I tried from her, I could pick up the strawberry, the other note, the most in this one. And I love this one. This is definitely one I would order a custom bag in when I feel like buying, you know, placing another order with her. And then Rosemary Mint and Hush. And her Hush is, is it pink sugar, lavender, vanilla, I want to say. So I melted this at night. The Hush kind of just kind of cut through the rosemary mint a little bit, but it was still, it was a very relaxing, great scent. And let's see, I'm just going to do one more that's not an empty. This is Destination Wax Pretzel Blueberry. So I melted um, almost a half. It wasn't quite a half, probably more like a third um, in two different warmers. And this performed well. I do like her blueberry, her pretzel. I'm not a huge fan of pretzel scents, but I did like it. It wasn't too pretzel-y, so it was kind of just like a nice blueberry bakery type scent. And this one performed well. I did it in my living room, two pieces, um, one in each of my two hot plate warmers. So anyhow, so that's kind of what I've melted mostly over the past few weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post those below. Thank you. Bye.